Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. Well, the Lord has provided a beautiful day here today in August. It's a nice low humidity day, even a little bit on the cool side. So today I thought we would go harvest some of my King Arthur green bell peppers. So thanks for joining me today. So I purchased these transplants from Ray's Nursery back in like the third week of May. You know, peppers and melons and tomatoes and zucchini, they love the heat, you know, and so you certainly want to make sure all your frost is passed. I usually wait about a week and then plant my peppers and tomatoes. Well, anyhow, these peppers have been growing really, really well, uh, and I grew them in my six mill polyethylene plastic and so let's go harvest some of these peppers and so these peppers are growing here in my raised bed right here and the size of this raised bed is 18 foot by 30 foot I added a, a border along the edge of this a couple years ago so I could raise the soil levels and add some more compost but in this bed here I have, on the left here, I have some of my classic eggplant and then my pepper plants here. I have about 22 pepper plants that I grew here. And then I have a couple basil plants in the beginning, in the front there. And then I also have my tomato plants over there with some zucchini or some broccoli, I mean, underneath the row cover. I always like to encourage people to grow a lot of green bell peppers. You know, I grow a lot of tomatoes, I grow a lot of green bell peppers. You know, I've just learned over the years that we love our green bell peppers. They're expensive if you have to buy them at the supermarket. You know, we, we have a lot of stuffed peppers. You know, I stuff them with rice and beans and different flavorings and, and vegetables. And so you can also freeze those over the winter, the stuffed peppers. Plus my wife and I, we we just dice up the peppers and put them in a freezer, Ziploc freezer bag for the winter. And, uh, you know, we put them in our chilies or, or our uh, Instapot beans that I make. And uh, they're just so delicious. And so, uh, you know, for, we get hundreds and hundreds of tomatoes, or I mean peppers, from these plants. And so it's well worth planting a, some extra peppers in your garden if you have too many you can always give them away to friends but we really covet our peppers and our tomatoes and when you're harvesting these you really want to kind of be a little bit on the gentle side with taking these peppers off the plants you don't want to break the stems or the branches and you also want to make sure as these once you plant these peppers that once they get a foot or so tall you want to make sure you stake your peppers and tie them real well in fact, several times throughout the summer season, I have to go through and tie these peppers up because some of these peppers will get so big if you don't uh, support them properly, they're going to break the branches off. I, I have that happen sometimes uh, during the growing season. So anyhow, let's start harvesting some of these beautiful peppers. And so I'm just going to slowly go through these plants, and, and you have to be really look closely too because these peppers can really be hidden underneath underneath these pepper plants and so you can see they're just beautiful peppers and I always add some some of my composted leaf mulch to my my plants here before I plant them so that they have a nice nutrient rich fertile soil to grow in because you want your peppers to be nice and thick-skinned. Sometimes it's like digging for gold, you know, trying to find these peppers. 
underneath these, underneath the leaves. You know, it's interesting this time of year now that it's summer too, you get to hear the locusts. Where in the springtime you hear a lot of the birds in the videos. So I'm just going to work, carefully work down these aisles and uh, pick some of these peppers. So when you plant peppers too, you want to make sure you have at least six, eight, six to eight hours of sunlight. As you would with your tomatoes and your melons and zucchini. Your leafy greens, they can get about you know, partial shade, they're fine with that, maybe six hours, four to six hours of sun. And if you leave the peppers on the plants for some time, they're going to turn red. That's how the you, buy, you can buy these red peppers at the supermarket. So sometimes you find these real big peppers hanging under underneath the uh, the plants because you've missed them over the last couple weeks. But I've been harvesting peppers out of here for a good month or so. And you can see we're getting a, a nice amount of peppers right there. I had a few here that were hanging under this one low branch. And so, like I said, you really have to look close to make sure you don't miss any. But again, let me encourage you to grow a lot of peppers out in your garden, you know, to, no matter what variety is. Uh, I have some Hungarian hot peppers over there, and I also have some jalapeno peppers here uh, that we're growing in the garden. But anyhow, it's just a, a wonderful harvest. You know, I bought these transplants from Ray's. I bought six plants for a dollar sixty, so they're basically thirty cents a plant. And, you know, think of the money you can save by growing your own food. It's just a wonderful thing to do. It's also rewarding, you know, growing and planting these out in your garden, and then nurturing for them and caring for them as they grow and mature. And of course, then you have some nice, fresh, organic vegetables. And you know, especially since my wife and I are plant-based now you know and since we've switched over our diet you know I've gotten away from the meats and the dairies and the cheeses and the oils you know those foods that are harmful and damaging to my body well anyhow my wife and I have experienced amazing results in our health I've lost 65 pounds but most of all you know my my blood pressure has plummeted and my cholesterol has plummeted and you know my cholesterol is under 150 now total and in doing so, you can make yourself heart attack proof, as Dr. Caldwell Esselstein says. So the health benefits are just amazing going and switching to a plant-based diet. And so anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here harvesting these beautiful, delicious King Arthur bell peppers. So anyhow, I just hope you have a wonderful day gardening. And uh, until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.